everyone. My name is Caleb and I'm the behavioral health intern at HealthPoint in SeaTac. And I'm going to be talking a little bit today about how to manage some added stress and anxiety levels that may be present with some of us due to this current pandemic. And I'm actually going to be talking about a topic that most of us are probably pretty familiar with and some of us actually probably know a lot about. And the topic is called exercise. And more specifically, I'm going to be talking about aerobic exercise. And now you're probably asking, well, Caleb, wait, why are you talking about exercise? We already know that exercise is something healthy and that's something we should be doing. And we know that it's sometimes really difficult to get it into our lives because of how busy we are. Well, one, I'm going to be talking a little bit more about why exercise can be beneficial, especially when we have added stress and anxiety in our lives. And two, I'm going to be talking about some ways that we can incorporate it into our busy lives and busy schedules without necessarily needing to add something huge into our life that may be an added stressor. So one, I'm going to talk about how physical activity is beneficial for us. And when I talk about physical activity, I talk a lot about aerobic exercise, actually, in terms of physical activity, which is any activity that involves increased oxygen consumption and increased heart rate. And so common aerobic activities are running, brisk walking, bicycling, high intensity interval exercises, jumping jacks, things that, in that require increased oxygen consumption in the body. And why are these things good for us? Well, actually when we do aerobic exercises, it puts us into a stress response in a controlled manner. And this is interesting in terms of stress reducing techniques because most techniques we talk about actually involve ways of reducing our stress response or bringing us out of our stress response and into a relaxation state. And the cool thing about aerobic exercise, it actually exposes us to a stress response and it exposes us to it in a positive way, what we call good or positive stress responses in the body. And in part, this is a positive stress response because it, our brain releases growth hormones when we are doing physical activity as well as cortisol. And it also releases endocannabinoids, which help us release endorphins, which make us feel good and actually help us protect ourselves or provide a positive buffer to psychological stress in the moment and later on. And physical activity or aerobic exercise is one of those cool things that the more we do it actually, the stronger that response will be and the longer that response will last. And Research has shown pretty significantly that daily practicing of aerobic exercise actually creates a nice buffer to psychological stress and increases our resilience with our own stress response. And you might be thinking, well, that's all great. I don't have time in my day to do 30 to 60 minutes of physical activity. Well, that's the second thing I wanted to talk about quickly in that we don't have to actually chunk out our exercise into large, big groups of time that we may not have in our busy lives. And recent research by Kaiser Permanente actually shows that breaking down exercise into smaller chunks of time, even five to 10 minutes, can have a positive benefit on our well being. And it actually shows that five to 10 minutes spread out throughout the day, maybe doing it three to four times, has a similar impact, especially on psychological stress as exercising for 30 to 45 minutes all at once. And some ways that can be added into our day um, without having much of an impact to do that are taking two to three minutes, standing up, stretching, going for a walk, trying to have walking meetings, or setting a timer at the top of each hour to stand up and walk around the clinic or walk around your home if you're working from home to get a little bit more activity in your day. And if you actually do that once an hour for eight hours of the day, you'll actually have a decent amount of time that you're spent up and walking. And there's many strategies you guys can probably think of to help add a little bit more physical activity into your day. Stay safe and stay healthy.